All right, we're picking up. Yeah, we're picking up right up. We're doing some more fights in tight spaces. We're picking up right where we left off. If I can say it correctly. Here we go. Air to my ass head. Hand it to me. I have a tackle this time, so theoretically, I could just dump him off the edge of the airplane. Maybe. Yep, I'm here. Okay, 14 and 16. But it's not really that. It's fine, I'll block it anyways. So we got, it's technically 11. And... 13, which is still the uh, 24 damage that I've easily blocked. I could push it, but it would not do anything, so. Yeah, he uses his push move. Better, but still annoying since I can't hurt him anyway. That's fine. I'll take eight damage on them for three, I guess. I'll go. Let's do step here. Grab you, your buddy. Shops and everyone. Should be alright, I guess, but not I guess ideal. So I kinda wanna kill this dude off before this one or before he spawns another. Should I do twenty-four? And he does fourteen, which is thirty-eight total, which is not enough to break it. To kill him entirely. Do that, I guess. Oh, that's a bad spawn for you, sir. <laughs> I can't remember. Do you have can't be damaged by teammates? No, you don't. That's good, I guess. I'm absolutely going to use fancy footwork because screw taking 24 damage from him. Oh boy. Marginally better. aggressive is all I can deal with. Oh, I see why they do that. Because if he's here, then if he advances, then it doesn't count as him attacking me anymore. Which is BS, but okay. If you say so, game.
What? Hold on, what cards did I use there? I use slip. And I use jumping back kick thing, right? Flash kick. That's only two, that's not three. Right? So why is my momentum drained? Right? Why do I only have two of three game? Why do I only have two or three? I only have three. Excuse me? Does one of them have a... What? Since when is that an option of it? It's never been that. It's never been reduce your momentum by one. It's always only been 14 damage. That's why I've been willing to take it. That's BS. Oh my gosh, that's BS. Screw that then. I'm going over here. Do the freaking wall jump punch thing. It's unbelievably BS. Holy crap. Especially with someone like me who only has three, because, yeah, that's, that's totally fair. I'm going to take a lot of damage here, because I can't, no, I, I can't do that. I need to save my health, so I have to slip away instead. Swing as I get out. Ah. <sighs> down and you'll dodge so Maybe that somehow. oh that's right can't be down I guess uh... Be unbelievably wary against these dudes. Sucks. Still gotta tough it out. Dodge, and then long counter to this dude. I swear, if you still reduce my momentum, even though I blocked it, I'm gonna be really angry. Excuse me. That's total BS. I blocked it. They've made this level impossible. Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, I guess I'll have to do, make do with two momentum, because that's fair. And you got these two guys, which will probably kill me if I move oh, the other part of it. So that's great. What can I do with two cards? Not much, that's why. Just 
too broken. Now you get to the edge. Now you get to the edge. Now that I've already got rid of my freaking thing. Back home. Yeah, good. Just what I wanted. There you go. I, I honestly don't see myself winning even this first level. I don't see it happening. It's just not going to happen. Because, of course, the take zero damage for the next attack this turn will count towards this. It means I won't be pushed. My counter won't reach this dude. And if I press counter, it won't even counter the push because it doesn't count for that. Because it's BS. So. But there's no point of playing this. That I'm, I'm sorry. I'm getting really tired of this game, though. It's just like. Probably I'm going to take a break for the game after I get killed off in this, like, level or something. See? Works exactly the way I thought it would. Surprise, surprise. Throw him to make him not spawn, but then I'll just take damage from the dude behind him. Oh, that works too. Hey, I won somehow. Look at that. What a surprise. the dodge card at least and then the most bs part comes in the last level where he's like yeah all the dudes you've already killed will make them come back and then i regain all my health because yeah that's fair i can see doing this with more momentum but if you give me no option of getting more momentum i mean they did technically but i don't have those because also, this dude's a C word. So. And now I have two momentum because that's fair. Yep, totally fair. I bet if even if I dodged it, it would be like, yeah, you still take the negative one. We don't have 
don't like you. In fact, I think you suck. Yep. to think the gunner guy was the bad one who could move and shoot and I'm like that's not fair at all now I think this dude's the worst by far you don't have counter I honestly wish Gravel counted for turning them back towards the same place that they came from, but it's like, no. No, why would it be that convenient? And you're the aggressive one, of course, too. Honestly, though, this dude is the worst one now. I'd rather take damage from the boss than get hit by the momentum card one. Honestly, though. Which was momentum per person hit? Hold that back. Uh, air and military are the worst as well. Auto attack, heavy, can't be pushed. Yep. Cool. The same thing I did before. I don't care. Whatever. Oh, nice. Level's over. Somehow. This is further than I ever thought I'd get, especially after learning that was one of them. Zip zap stick. You can't tell me that's not what it's called. I will always believe that's what it's called. No, I'm joking. Push time. Wait, what fun. Screw you. 
Spawn more people time. Oh, wait, you get less or less one, I think. Oh, that's right. Random injury card time. Good for me. I do dodge. Will it count? Probably not. But I'll try it. Never know. No, of course not. Why would I be able to dodge things like that? Completely reasonable. Doesn't have counter, so you can take less damage. It's only do three damage now. So six. Six nine. So let's successfully do this then. Never worth it. Screw you. As a wall? No? I think so. Scrap that he is, of course, doesn't count as a wall. Why does it not count as you attack him? Why does that not work? Cool. 
Yes. Okay. Last one. I have to die. Okay. What are you now? You push? Okay. Good. Probably some cards that I could use any of now. So moving back towards that dude. I'm not doing that. Another bit of moment. sink armored strike and then flash kick this is gonna spawn another one anyways see Aggressive move, man. Excuse me. Whatever. Uh, surprise, surprise. We did something unexpected. We still don't counter. Is 15 damage because it's 8 minus 3 each. I can block with power sync and I'd prefer to block since he, so he wouldn't get hit by that. So I just push instead. That's what I was going to do. I would have done throw, but it will do less damage than if I just leave him there. Wonderful. This card will be forced discarded because I can't do that next to him. Seriously, I'll freaking die. Uh, 25 damage. Um, no. Two range. I think you'll advance an attack too. I don't think you'll stay there, which is. All right, I guess. So we'll get hit again. No, he stays there. Holy crap, that dude was like Sonic. Instantaneous. Hey, you. I can't even afford to a little bit get hit by you. So... We're not going to be anywhere near you. So far away. Okay. Take some damage, though. 
Let's see what it's off. I thought. Excellent. One health for him. I mean, nine health, sorry. Whatever. Works for me. Be where I am. Take damage. Maybe. Unless he moves in front of me. And he'll probably just sidestep because he's an a-hole. back he should move forwards and I build a wall jump punch out of the way I mean I'll be in the corner then and I don't want that but I think being in the corner is better than taking 20 damage I can't walk well it'd be 40 damage because it's an auto attack and then he would attack again Much as I don't want to do this. Okay. That's reasonable. Once. That's right, he doesn't get pushed. So he'll get hit by this then. Nope. damage for him. That's a strange move, but I'll take it. I won't complain at all. Okay. I want to move somewhere, but I know he'll just turn face me. I go either of those places, and that will not be good at all. Okay, so now we're going to go here. Oh, that's right, it's push time. Okay, that's fine. Push time, so now nah, you're heavy. That's right. My bad. Back him. Nice. You do 20 damage. Uh, you do 17 damage. So I have to move back in here to avoid the momentum. I do not want to get the momentum strike on it. So you do. 17 damage. Twice. So it'll be 34. 34 damage. 
I can block all but one. I'll take it. Good enough for me. So if you attack this turn, I'll be mad. I don't. Good. Okay. You are aggressive advancement plan this time. That's fine. That's not great. How much help do you have? I think if I move to the left here, it will attack him because he's now in his range. I'm not 100% certain. I have the rule back though, so I'll just see, I guess. He won't. Darn. Okay. What do you mean I can't use it? He's next to the wall. No, he's not. That's all. Okay. Never mind. I thought this was closer than it was. He's next to the wall. No. One less to deal with. You do 15 damage again. I want to tackle him, I really do, but he's going to hit me if I do that. And I don't want to take the negative bludgeon at all costs. So, I'd rather just block and get hit than take the negative momentum that I can't afford. Well, without a lock, it's still... <laughs> it's still like some damage without the... Okay. I wish this was a slip instead. So I gotta move so he doesn't attack me twice. Unfortunately. See, that's annoying now. I take 20 damage. 17 damage. 14 damage. 14 damage in exchange for him dying. And then it'll spawn the ninja. Or a gunner. Well, fine. Whacked. That's not great. Dangerously close to the edge, which Again, makes no sense, but you 
are dead. Your tactic takes zero damage, and I would only take three damage from the other. So thirty-two. Shine Lily. Oh, it just ends. Okay. Oh boy, new card. Somehow that worked. My gosh, I didn't even think I could do it. Okay. I mean, they, they finally fixed the final level in that it ends regardless of the amount of enemies killed if you kill the boss, which is nice. Okay, that was unexpected, but I did it. So that's... Nice, even though it got really bs near the end. Wow. This game takes so much out of me, I feel like. Okay, though. I think I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop the recording, and I'm going to stop playing this game for a while. Because I'm just I'm a bit... Every time I play this, I get more, I want to say, like, tired of it slightly I will come back to it because there's still more of it for me to beat and I only just got the achievement uh, winner run using the counter deck the defender oh, achievement so that's nice I guess um, so yeah there's plenty of it left for me to do yeah, I'm going to maybe stop playing it for a little while. Maybe find something else that perhaps record. Uh, I still got to go back to Beacon Alien Isolation. Gosh dang it. I keep meaning to do that, but every time I go back to it, or every time I look at it, I'm like, that's right, there's still 11 more chapters for me to do. So I was curious how many chapters I had left to do, and I was looking on Steam, and it was my latest achievement on Steam was complete the sixth myth mission. And I was like, how many missions are there? 17. You know, just, just a casual 17 missions. So I might go back to that. Plenty of that to do. Uh, so, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe if you like my videos, content, whatever. And I uh, guess I'll see you in the next video. Whatever, whatever that happens to be. Yeah.